friends, I just got an email from a large national Christian policy organization about the House of Representatives and Congress finally passing and sending to President Biden the Respect for Marriage Act. And I must respond to it, not to be critical, but that I might edify and encourage my fellow believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's what the email says. Today, 258 members of Congress prioritized politics over principles. If President Biden signs this bill, it will enshrine a false definition of marriage at the steep price of Americans' freedom to live according to their faith without fear of punishment. Now let's break that down real quickly. First of all, we are now lamenting that Congress has enshrined a false definition of marriage into the federal law when we've said nothing and done nothing nor tried to resist or overthrow or change or limit the enshrinement of that same definition in the United States Supreme Court's constitutional jurisprudence through its decision on Burgerfell versus Hodges in 2015. Now, we lament that enshrinement of that definition seven years later. But the other part, and perhaps even just as much or more fundamental, is the statement that this enshrinement Will, will cause Americans to live out their faith in fear of punishment. Let me give you an encouraging word. I'll take them straight from the scripture and I'm gonna read them, so I'll have to look down a little bit. But Psalm 56, four, in God whose word I praise in God, I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can mere man do to me? Psalm 56:11. In God I've put my trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? Psalm 118.6, the Lord is for me. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Hebrews 13.6 picks up the refrain so that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. You see, the persons who know their God the prophet Daniel says in chapter 11, verse 32, will display strength and take action. They will not be afraid. They will not fight merely for religious liberty rather than God's understanding of the cosmos and the nature of man and woman and their relationship to marriage. And I believe firmly if the people who know their God begin to live more in fear of God than the fear of men, then men will come to know the fear of God. I hope that encourages you.